when I was younger, I didn't like watching Sesame Street or Mr. Rogers. I liked MTV, and David Lee Roth and Van Halen were my idols. Andrew Bag, a.k.a. DJ Cobra. Many of you likely haven't heard of him until now, but his mixing magic is known to the stars. Celebrity clients include Madonna, Ray Romano, Sarah Jessica Parker, Tyra Banks, and even Hilary Duff. His corporate clients include Playboy, Warner Brothers, MTV, HBO, Paramount Pictures, VH1, Victoria's Secret, Virgin Records, and DreamWorks. And that's just to name a few. Was there one point in your life that you said, you know what, I want to be a professional DJ? There was really no definitive moment. It almost came out of necessity because I was accumulating so much music. DJ Cobra started collecting tunes at an early age, living with his immigrant parents in Los Angeles, California. Well, junior high and high school, I was given $5 a day lunch money. So I would ration off uh, my food intake in order to save enough money to buy a new CD every week. He accumulated hundreds of CDs before he was even out of high school. In college, his collection of CDs and vinyls reached 1,000. And now he boasts more than 25,000 records and 100 gigs of digital music. And yet his only plan initially was just to consume it. That is until he got an opportunity to work for a mobile DJ service, which paid him $90 a night. I would go do frat and sorority parties. So I would set up the lighting and sound and drive this old van that had 500,000 miles on it. And, uh, and I would you know, work for six, eight hours doing these events. And that's how I sort of paid my dues, so to speak. He also DJed for his college station at the University of Arizona, which opened up the opportunity at age 19 to go commercial at a Clear Channel owned urban and hip hop station, Hot 98.3, a station that was part of a small cluster across the country that the music industry looked to in order to see whether their songs were well received. So I quickly started forming relationships with artists and record labels and before he knew what I was, when an artist would come to town, I would be the one that they would hire to uh, DJ for them. I got an opportunity to open for big artists like Puff Daddy and Ja Rule and Ashanti and Fat Joe and the list goes on. About 40 to 50 gold or platinum recording artists within a very short period of time. Since then, DJ Cobra has toured worldwide as a featured DJ at some of the hottest clubs and events like the Grammys and Super Bowl after parties. Most recently, ESPN's Super Bowl party, American Idol's Top 24 party, Bill Gates after party for the screening of a documentary Waiting for Superman, and Food Network chef Guy Fieri's Roadshow. So what does a DJ who started out making less than 100 bucks a gig make today? I'm almost embarrassed at how well I get, get paid because again this was never the intention, it was just solely for the purpose of getting music, but um, I've been fortunate enough to get as, as much as um, you know, a five-figure sum.